Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to the fifth and last video of the series about REST in Delphi 2010. Uh, the first three videos were on client-side REST applications written in Delphi. Uh, the fourth video introduced the development of REST servers in uh, Delphi 2010 using the DataSnap architecture. And now this, this fifth video shows some actual server-side examples that are slightly more complex than the first one uh, of the last video. Um, again, my name is Marco Cantu. I'm the author of several books on um, Delphi technology. I'm a conference speaker and I actually also set up seminars worldwide. Uh, last year I did so with Kerry Jensen and we're going to have Delphi De Developer Days again uh, over the next spring in the US and Europe. And I'm a teacher consultant mentor on Delphi and web technologies. So this is the fifth and last video of the series and the focus is on server demos. I'm going to show you uh, the kind of last bit of, the, of, of a very simple demo, which is building uh, the, the code for an Ajax client for a simple demo and then two more complex demo reporting. First of the demos is very similar to the one we've built step by step in the previous video has an echo string method and that's it. Now the difference is that the data module beside returning the simple HTML can also handle a, a second request which is hooked to the um, to a file action and when the file request comes in it will return a local file which is a JavaScript file watch well, an HTML file with some JavaScript in it and it's going to use jQuery for calling back when you, when you press the button it installs a routine on the click of the button that will call back to our server and extract information from the result and merge it, display it inside one HTML field. Okay, so if we actually run the server and open our web browser and open the specific URL in the browser. We can type in just any message here, press the echo button and get back a result from our REST server. and get back the live the information. For the second demo, I have a simple data structure. And on the server side, I create a data dictionary with a list of objects of this class, of this type. A data dictionary is a generic dictionary instantiated with a string as key and the actual a TMI data object as a value. Uh, in this case, our server side class um, has to follow a specific signature, has function and procedure that use the specific tokens update, cancel, and accept within their name. And what the REST server support in Delphi 2010 will map the four. HTTP methods for the my data URL. If it's a get, we'll just hit my data. If it's a post, we'll hit update my data. If it's a delete operation, we'll do a cancel my data. And if it is a put, create a new object operation, we'll go for accept my data. So here I have code for returning the JSON for this object, for updating the object, for removing the object, and for adding a new object to the dictionary. 
this is the user interface for the example. Uh, when it starts, it has actually an empty piece of HTML, as we can see in the source code here. which is populated automatically as the program starts by grabbing the some sample data and by refreshing the list with the various objects. List is another method of the server which provides a list of the available uh, objects. And again, you can read in much more detail in the white paper that describes the server I'm just demoing here. Uh, so back to the browser, we can grab the information about an object, we can change it, and again let's check if the data actually changed. We can create a new object with that value and refresh the list, and we can also get in here and delete one of the objects and again refresh the list and the object is gone. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating for the various buttons Ajax, re Ajax request into my REST server that are not just GET operations, but are POST, DELETE, and PUT operations using specific URLs and specific well, actually the same URL, my data with the, with the name, my data with the name and uh, providing further information as required by the various methods. So with some work on the JavaScript side, I've created this uh, Delphi application that's fully browser-based. I don't even have a, a Windows client for this program. Uh, it's a um, JavaScript-based client calling into our REST server. And again, there are quite a few technical details on how to accomplish this that are fully detailed in the paper. So we've seen the Ajax side for the first demo, we've seen a second demo that lets you manipulate objects and do the various HTTP operations over the object URLs. The third demo is about showing database data. Now of course we can show database data by creating the HTML uh, on the server side or we can show the database data by creating a simple empty page and having JavaScript inside the page that fetches the data from an, our Ajax web server. Again, that's the Ajax slash REST approach that's getting, getting so popular all over the web. Unluckily, uh, Delphi REST support has no direct support for returning a, a data set or a client data set, but what we can do is we can create a JSON array with the data and simply create JSON objects for each field and return them inside uh, an array. Uh, similarly, we can go for the list of the fields and return some metadata about our fields. Again, the web page we are using is extremely bare bone, kind of empty because everything is driven by the code. The code fetches the metadata here, creates the table header with the metadata, and then grabs each record and each field of each record with a double nested loop and creates the HTML table dynamically. The result is a page that starts empty and then gets populated with all of the server-side data. And I apply a nice cascading style sheet and maybe hook to one of the jQuery uh, grids that allows for editing and sorting and other grid operations. And you can actually publish your database data on the web using the new Delphi 2000 10 REST support. And this was the last video of this series. Thanks for following my five videos on uh, REST in Delphi 2010. And remember to download the full white paper 